Hey Dan, how you doing? What's up, man? Man, I hear there's some exciting news coming out. You got it. What's up? Man, literally, like right before I called you, I was just been posting on Instagram. Um, I just activated the Rogue Instagram and Facebook and YouTube, and now I'm about to just release it through my Instagram and made it live on the website and distribution. So literally within the past two hours, Rogue Wheels is available in North America. Awesome, man. Hey, listen, if you guys haven't heard, uh, long-awaited project development of Dan Barrett, Rogue Wheels. Uh, it's been in the testing for years now. Finally released, and Dan's going to tell us about it. Uh, Dan, when did you start the idea of Rogue Wheels? Man, well, my mom bought me my scooter about 12 years ago or so, um, and I never thought I'd be, you know, making wheels one day and developing them and testing them. So the actual idea to make better wheels was just riding around the world, going to different events and riding different things. And I've always just had like a specific wheel that I rode everything with. And, you know, I figured that's not really the best way to to ride a specific spot or, or skate park, you know, with one style wheel or across the board. So I kind of wanted to offer more than that because there wasn't anything really available than a few types of your thing. I wanted to just branch out of that and really make make something that everybody can enjoy, not just a specific type of riding. Right on, man. Now, I know um, you've gone through a lot of prototypes. What have you learned in the process of taking an idea from the drawing board to prototype to an actual product in hand? To be really patient. Because, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I never thought it would take this long, but uh, I'm kind of glad it did because I really learned a lot and it really taught me to not settle for less and to keep growing, keep developing, and you know, I'm still at that point, I'm happy with the wheel that we're coming out with, I'm like more than happy with it, I'm so comfortable with it, but you know, I still can be happier and I still want to improve and, and do better, so more to come. Awesome, man. How many prototypes do you think you tested before you were happy with the wheels feel? Man, we made over 100 wheels, um, somewhere between 100 and 200. Um, but between 10 and 12 different types of urethane that had different characteristics to them. So, you know, between 100 and 200 with 10 to 12 different types of urethane. Nice. Wheels are called gummies. Why? Well, gummy is really that sticky feel that, that I get when I hear it. So, you know, that's what these wheels give you is that really grip and control that you need. And, you know, it, you're really in control with this wheel and you actually get the feel you know, you got that responsive grip and responsive slide to them that you can actually feel and, you know, you're in control of this wheel. It's just really controlling as far as grippiness and control. So I wanted to kind of name it after that and I think Gummy's a great name for it. Nice. So when you're hitting those wall rides, man, you... Just slop up to them, stick to them, you know. <laughs> uh, they're, they're, they're 110s. Uh, yeah. Do you have any plans to uh, make a uh, 120, 125? I've been testing out some 120s, but, uh, you know, that's something that was made. We made the 120s about six months ago, and I never really got to truly test them because Phoenix never had a 125 fork, but uh, a few weeks ago we just put one together, put a few of them together, actually. Um, so about a week ago I put on the 120s. Um, but, you know, like I said, we're not going to go ahead with the 120s. We're probably going to come out 125s. But, you know, that's not going to be till the end of this year or maybe even next year. Who knows? Maybe even sooner than that. I right. Hope. Right. And then a fork naturally to match it. Yeah, it'd have to be, you know, Phoenix. And we've got some new decks coming out. So I'm, not, I'm in no rush for 125s. And it seems like the market's in no rush. Just a few selected people. Right. So as the market grows, you know, Rogue will grow with it. Right. Do you have the actual wheel? We can see it, show it to us. Yeah, here's one with bearings in it. The wheels don't come with bearings or spacer. Um, and it's got, got the, it's got the raised, logo. yeah, nice. What's yeah. that? It's got the raised logo, uh, gummies and the uh, the uh, road crown. Awesome looking. Yeah, nothing too flashy, you know. Um, like the names, Rogue and Gummy, I kind of wanted the wheel to embrace that. Right. Those names, so, you know, that's what we're going with. Nice. 
What makes them better than what's currently on the market today? What would you say? Man, I wouldn't say these wheels are better than any type of wheel. Um, they're a damn good wheel. They'll last for a while, and they're, you know, they're grippy. I could talk about them all day, but uh, it honestly depends on the rider. I can't, I can't vouch for anybody but myself and some of the riders that have rode them. So, right. you know, it, it depends on what you ride, and if you're really into, to, uh, you know, say a street style type, type really grippy wheel, then these wheels are are it. You know, I can guarantee that and they will last a while. And, They'll put up with any type of riding, so you know I'd say they're as far as grippiness and control. These wheels are it for sure. They're just a damn good wheel. Yeah, man, just a damn good wheel. <laughs> Does Rogue have any other scooter-related products in mind at this time? No, nah. oh man, just wheels. I just want to make some good wheels. Nice, man. Just want to ride. That's all. Yeah, man, nothing crazy. I don't want to make scooter decks and. All that Get that up the Phoenix. <laughs> uh, Dan's come to us 3,000 miles away. This is the first Skype we've ever done. Uh, Dan purposely moved uh, from here on the East Coast to out there to oversee this project, this development, and it's finally come to fruition. Um, they're great wheels. They are on the market now. You can get them at Bark and Spider Board Shop uh, or any of your other uh, selected dealers. Um, also, we're going to be giving some away. So you got a chance to win some wheels. Uh, Friday tomorrow, we'll post it on our Instagram. We'll be giving away one set uh, next Monday and then the next three Mondays. We're going to weigh a total of uh, one, two, three, four, four sets of wheels. Also, we're giving away limited edition Rogue T-shirt. So uh, with the wheels... Uh, you'll be getting this t-shirt, so if you do win, include your size, and uh, you'll be looking good, man. Again, limited edition. It's only coming to you through this promotion. Yeah, Steve, you got to send me some of those shirts, man. You got it, I haven't got any yet. What size are you? XL. XL? I'll keep it for a while. <laughs> uh, Dan, anything else, man, you want to tell people? Tell our friends man, out there? Um, well, first, I want to say thanks for the interview, man. I mean, I've been working with you guys and, and, you know, in the area for my whole life. So, you know, it's great to just kind of offer the wheels and be able to, to work with you guys and work with, with everybody else, but specifically you guys, it's great because, you know, that's from where, that's where I'm from. And, you know, it's great to like, you know, get this far and be able to give back and really just put something out there that's going to help, you know, this, the industry grow. For sure, man. And we're super excited about these wheels. Um, and like I said, I know they've been tried and tested, and uh, they're just, like Dan said, a damn good wheel. Um, also, I'd like to make a quick announcement. A few people asked me about the dead of winter. Uh, we did suspend that particular comp this year. Not to say that we're not going to do something, but we're working on uh, a little something different uh, for you riders out there. So stay tuned. Uh, I want to thank... Dan Barrett, I want to wish him the best of success with the new launch of this wheel. And uh, thanks, man. Hey, man, take care of yourself, Dan. Thank you. You too, man. See you guys soon. Bye, brother. Be good. Bye, man. Bye. See you guys. Thanks.